Bom dia, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. And for the newcomers, my name is Didi Taihutu. Yes, the guy that literally sold everything he owned, his house, his companies, started traveling the world with a family of five, now coming to you guys from Lagos in Portugal. In today's video, of course, bombing you with amazing Bitcoin charts, really cool charts, also showing you the bam bam profits we made the last couple of days, talking about some news I read this morning, not too much, as I have a very, very busy day, a lot of administrative work, because the huge Bitcoin family is growing tremendously and I need to spend some time to educate all the newcomers in the BAM indicator, in the BFAT that we are preparing to go live at the end of this week. But nevertheless guys, a cool video with one, one very, very, but really very important chart to look at so that you don't freak out at the moment, but zoom out. And when I show you this chart, you will be blown away but what you will see, you will know exactly what will happen in the next couple of days, weeks, months to Bitcoin. BAM! First things first, let's start with the TA part, the part where I bomb you with charts. Yes, I'm filming with the DJI Osmo Pocket, and yes, with this stick I bought myself in a store online. With Bitcoins, of course, because I use my Bitcoin debit card. But let's start with the first chart. The first chart will be a BAM chart, because I want to show you on the 2nd of January what kind of profit we made with the BAM BAM indicator, this chart. BAM! Like you can see, we did only one trade on the 2nd of January. My brother was still here, so I was not into trading all day, but we took a long. And this was a 110% long. And we traded with 300 US dollar. 10% of the Bitcoin price is 300 US dollar at that moment. And we traded with a leverage of 10. So we increased 300 dollar with 110% and made it over the 600 US dollar. So it was doubling the amount we started with just by listening to the Bam Bam indicator and taking the long at that right moment. I should have kept listening to the Bam Bam indicator, but I didn't because I was too busy in my head. Because the Bam Bam indicator showed me on the top, Didi, watch out, we will soon see a short. The flag showed itself, then I also saw the blue line crossing the red line and the white line, so there was a indicator of going short. I also saw the green hills slowly going into the yellow, so a huge indicator that I should have gone short. I didn't, I didn't, because I thought, man, we are going up this hard, this is a bull market, I'm not going to short Bitcoin now because it will be like a fake out or something, but it would have been an amazing short, again, indicated by the Bam Bam indicator. So yes, also I, sometimes are very very stubborn and don't listen to the bam bam indicator i should have shorted the bitcoin price at that moment i didn't so still i'm happy because i made profit with that first long let's take a look at another bam bam chart another chart that we had yesterday how did we trade the market yesterday this chart bam on this chart you notice something different yes the yellow line I tried the yellow line now like a flowing line, not like the stepping line we normally use. Just to play around with it, just to get a feeling if I would prefer this one. Yes, you can of course change the settings of the Bam Bam indicator. I need to admit that I didn't like playing around with this line. I prefer the stepping line because it's a better indicator to me. And you can see what a small difference in just one line means. So you can play around with the settings of the Bam Bam indicator, but I prefer the stepping line. We traded with 250 US dollar with a leverage of 10. Yes, we don't trade big. We just are happy with very small profits. A lot of small profits make a big profit in the end as well. The first trade was a short. It was 22% profit. So that turned to 250 US dollar and 300 US dollar. Then we traded a long 14% profit into 350 US dollar. And you might say now, ah, did he, why, did you, why did you take the long? Because it was yellow, yes, in the magical 2.2, you saw a lot of yellow sand. So normally not the best situation to take a long. But when I saw this doji, this, then I thought, wow, wait, maybe this doji is now, you know, 
switching the market to the upswing. So I took a little bit risk. So I thought this Joe Doji was indicating me that we would take a long. That is why I took the long a little bit early. Normally I should have waited till the sand would turn into the green hills again and wait till the blue line crosses the white line. Then you have the triple confirmation. But I was like, nah, let's do it different this time. I believe that Bitcoin will go, go up because I see this doji. You know, I also make decisions aside of the Bam Bam. And yes, I was lucky. It was a 14% long. After that, guys, we did a short. The short was 44%, which brought the beautiful amount to 500 US dollar. And then on the bottom of the chart, you can see that the signs, all the signals were screaming for an entry for another long. And I took that long. You can see the green arrows. They are pointing at why we took that long. Why all the signals were screaming. The flag appeared. You saw a declining beach. The beach was getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And you can see the flag appearing. You can see the blue line crossing the white line to the upside. So all the signals were saying, wow, go long now, Did he go long. So we took that long. That long brought us 29% profit. So in total, we ended up with 650 US dollar that day. We started with 250 US dollar. We turned it into 600 US dollar just by trading the DD bank bam bam signals is it always this easy no you will lose sometimes as well you will make some mistakes but the longer you trade and the longer you use the bam bam indicator you will get like used to the signals and the triple confirmations and all that stuff and yes then you still have a chance of you know losing a trade now and then but if you are able to win 70 to 80 percent of the trades you do in the long term, you're making profit. That is why we trade just with 10% of the Bitcoin price, just with a leverage of them, because that is optimizing the risk reward ratio, which will take, make sure that if you keep using the same settings, the same trading strategy, that at the end, you will make profit. That is why we added this backtesting feature so that you can backtest the strategy. And you will see by using the backtesting feature, yes, there are trades that you lose. And there are trades that you win, but in average you win. And this back text testing feature combined with what we created the Bam Bam indicator, those two combined with all the other things that we built will be used by the B Fed. The B Fed is going to trade. A lot of you people ask me, yeah, what's the difference, Didi, between B Fed and the Bam Bam indicator? Why should I buy the Bam Bam indicator? If the B Fed is for free, yes, the B Fed is completely for free. I agree. But the B Fed is an automated trader. It is only going to trade Bitcoin longs on Bybit. So we will be only trading the Bitcoin longs on Bybit. That's the B Fed. That will be, will be free. The DD Bam Bam indicator, you can use that on any asset that you want. You can use it on Bitcoin. You can use it on Litecoin, Ethereum. Tesla, gold, whatever asset you want, you can use the DD Bam Bam indicator. So that's a huge difference. The Bam Bam, usable for any asset in any kind of way, and you can change the settings, etc., etc. And the BFET will be an automated trader that will be trading the longs on Bybit only in Bitcoin. Huge difference. So now you know what the difference is between the BFET and the Bam Bam indicator. Talking about the BFET, I will turn around and walk back home again. But talking about the BFET, maybe we can walk like this through the forest. I will, I will try to walk through the forest. Let's see what is there. I haven't, I haven't been there yet. Um, but talking about the BFET, guys, it is going live at the end of this week. Hey, the sun is starting to become warm again. It was chilly, but now I'm hot. Um, we are testing all the time frames. But because we are testing all the time frames, it takes a lot of time for me to be very confident to go live with something. Because it's easy to test the one minute time frame and the five minute time frame, even the one hour, you know, is like easy testable. But when you start to test the longer time frames, like the four hour or the day, it will take some time to get good results because it's a longer term. And that is why I will launch the BFET at the end of the week because then we as a team are completely ready with testing all the time frames and then we as a team can completely confident launch the BFET. So end of this week the BFET will be launched. It can be Friday, it can be Saturday, it can be Sunday. Don't pin me on this. I don't know for sure which day but this week it will be launched and you will be able to trade automatically with the BFET. Yes, you need to own 
this Raspberry Pi or any other form of hardware that will be trading 24 7 for you guys and yes we will be releasing the manual how to set it up everything as well this week it will all be set online so don't worry you will have everything on time before we go live with the B fat 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 <laughs> it's going to make your Bitcoin wallet fat a B fat wallet a B fat Bitcoin family wallet it's the B the bad B B B the B fat Bitcoin wallet yep maybe we need to make a new song a rap song about the B fat Bitcoin wallet B fat family auto trader Bitcoin fat wallet something like this just be talked already too long this video is again going to be long uh, the CEO of Binance is saying Bitcoin will be 100k at the end of this year so the CEO of Binance also claiming Bitcoin price will be 100k and the end of this year very positive prediction of the CEO of Binance I haven't been here beautiful forest let's see how far that we can walk and yes guys I know that Bitcoin just did a huge pullback from 34k to 30k even to 27,700 US dollar nah the DJI again underperforming getting dark getting dark um, so yes that was a huge pullback it was a huge pullback from 34,000 US dollar to 27,700 US dollar I think the DJI lost me look look it's searching my face ah yeah I found your face again that was an 18 and a half percent pullback from 34,000 to 27,000 we have seen 40% pullback if we would see the 40% pullback now guys we will be falling all the way back to 20,000 US dollar per Bitcoin do I believe that we will see this pullback to 20,000 no I think that 30,000 29,800 um, is the support at the moment and then we will go up a little bit more maybe we will see this pullback after we reach 40k or 50k or 70k but I will talk about that part now because I saw the video of Steve from Crypto True University and I like to watch his videos now and then because they make me zoom out in the market as well I also did the course and I like the course if you want to follow the course use my referral link because if you use my referral link we get some fees and we will share those fees again with poor people all over the world but on the video of Steve I saw a really interesting thing I saw that he compared the pullbacks of the Bitcoin cycle top to the 21 EMA on the weekly chart and that made me think ah let's try this as well so I pulled up a weekly chart on the BLX on TradingView this one BAM and I started to investigate what I saw and indeed you can see that every time we reach the market cycle, cycle top we pulled back to the 21 EMA this yellow thick line in 2011 from the top of the cycle to the yellow line to the 21 MEMA was around 86 percent in the beginning of 2013 from the top of the cycle to the yellow line was 82 percent in the end of 2013 from the top of that cycle to the yellow line to the 21 EMA was around 75 percent so every time we reach a top of a cycle which is 75 to 85 percent higher than the yellow line we pull back to this yellow line just keeping it simple out there then in 2017 we saw the same when we reached 20k we pull back all the way to this yellow line to the 21 EMA this 21 EMA on the weekly chart has been support for many years even during the 2017 bull run you can see that we go up and come down to the line go up and go down the line go up and come down to this line very important chart and if we look now to today at the moment we are around 55 percent overextended above this yellow line so we are nowhere near 70 percent or even 80 percent if we would be 70 to 80 percent overextended from this yellow line from the 21 EMA we should be acting around 70 to 80 thousand US dollar and then when this new cycle top would be 70 to 80 thousand US dollar and we would see this pullback then we would reach the 21 EMA so in Steve's and also in my opinion we didn't reach the top of the cycle yet by far because it should be 70 percent above this 21 EMA and please understand that this EMA is going up day by day it's becoming a higher and higher so the 70 percent now is 70k but like in a week it can be 80k 
and he combined it with the knowledge of the RSI on the bottom of the chart. And the RSI, he's like, it has been only six times before that the RSI was above the level of 90 for more than a week. Bitcoin just arrived above this 90 level in the RSI on the weekly chart. If we stay above this level for eight more days, then in the next eight more days, we should be arriving at that 70k price or the 60k price. This is speculating. This is not what is going to happen, in my opinion. Definitely, it's not like predicting the future because we can't. It is completely speculative. But if it would be repeating history, then we should be higher before this huge correction. The thing that I think that Steve forgot is this. If you look to the left on the chart, to the 2017 bull run, to the moment we were like 55% above the 21 EMA, if you look to that moment, you can see that we were just up front of the huge massive bull run. Because there is one square that I made, 55% from the top, small top to the yellow line in the 2017 huge bull run, that could be exactly the location where we are now. Because now we are at that point of 55% above the yellow line. So we can be on that same point as well. And then we can see that we pulled back a little bit towards the yellow line before we went hugely up in this bull run again. And maybe we are doing that exactly. Maybe we are at this 55% now on that moment in this bull run, pull back a little bit towards the yellow line, 29,800, maybe 22,000 US dollar, and then again accelerate into this a massive bull run. So this could be what Bitcoin will be doing now. So if you're freaking out, always zoom out. And if you are invested with too much of your money, you will be freaking out every minute of the day. So just make sure that you have a very healthy portfolio where you always have some US dollar teeter, DAI, PAX, whatever other stable currency you use to buy these dips. If you are not a trader that will trade and long and short the charts every minute of the day, then just act as an investor. Zoom out, buy the dips, hollow, believe and enjoy the result in the end of this 2021 in December because I think we will see complete different number in December this year. I hope I made everything a little bit clear for you guys how I look at the market now and how I also look at other traders and think and see and analyze those traders to see what they think because I don't think and pretend to be the only one that knows everything on the market. I don't want to be that person. I want to be the person that creates cool entertainment, cool infotainment and uses other people's strategy as well so you can make up your mind based on different opinions of different traders because there's not one trader that is always right and it's beautiful if you can compare all those strategies from different traders so yes i think that this last chart that i showed you is a very important one because you sell the top and you buy the bottom and you wait a couple of months or years and you sell at the top and you buy the top bottom that is what you do as an investor as a day trader man just go to ddbam.com fill the three fields we will send you all the information of the band band indicator and you will be having better performance in your day trades because the diddy bam bam indicator will help you to trade with a better with a better risk reward ratio which will increase your bitcoin portfolio and that is why you're in the space if you are a trader investor completely different i brought my brother back yesterday to the airport he left after a week we had an amazing week I was very thankful that he came with his family um, and I could see my niece Joan again and her, his wife Chantal. We had some beautiful days. We also had some rainy days, but you know, we enjoyed the time together. We had a lot of drinks, we had a lot of food, we had a lot of fun. And that was the thing that was most important that I saw my brother again after six months. And um, these days, that's uh, always when I focus on family and I make a little bit shorter content. I will start to make longer content again this week. Yes, I will visit some beautiful places in Portugal where I again show you this amazing country um, so that it's not only Bitcoin and will become again blockchain and live as well in the videos. If you want to know more about the family, go to the bitcoinfamily.com. You can find all the links there, also to the Discord server, to the Telegram groups, um, to the BAM indicator, to the shop where we sell these swag. Everything is on the bitcoinfamily.com. So if you go there, you will find your way into the Bitcoin family. And I'm there to welcome you very warmly into our Bitcoin family because I want to create a kick as Bitcoin family all over the world where I can use the profits of all the stuff that we do 
to help all people all over the world that need it most. So I will keep you up to date on this. And yes, of course, we will be making videos on how we share these profits with charities, poor people, or any other kind of way that we think is necessary to change somebody's life on this beautiful world. That was all the information for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment as I love to respond to your comments. I want to thank you for watching and I want to remind you to always zoom out in Bitcoin and to zoom in that life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what life should be about. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you tomorrow again and hopefully from an amazing place somewhere here in Portugal. Bye! Bam!